Thank you so very much, my friends, for coming through. Much appreciated. So today, um, part of our motivation in helping you stay strong mentally and preparing your life beyond a lockdown, my commitment has been we're going to look at uh, different writers as well on Tuesday to who are going to assist us with um, with content um, that it's going to be an empowerment to us. So today I'm going to be doing a book review by Dr. Um, uh, Marsh Monroe, the late Dr. Marsh Monroe. The name of the book is The Principles and the Benefits of Change. The Principles and the Benefits of Change. I want to believe that this book was written um, you know, ahead of its time. Uh, because it does prepare us for things that are already happening at this stage. And so my commitment today is to look at chapter one of this book, which is called Everything Changes, an inevitable shared by everyone on earth. So what it means is that everything around us, it does change, ladies and gentlemen. So what we have to do, our job is to prepare ourselves and prepare our mindset in order for us to be able to minimize the impact of any changes that came through. So the world today is dealing with COVID-19 and um, this global pandemic is something that is also impacting um, the rest of us um, all over the world. You are surely impacted. And so this is also impacting the way we do business with people. And it's also doing um, you know, an impact or making a change in terms of how we relate with people socially. And so you will realize that uh, at this stage uh, in our country, South Africa, we are on a lockdown and many, many countries that are also on a lockdown in trying to combat uh, this um, uh, uh, pandemic or this uh, COVID-19 virus. And so it is important for us to understand that uh, when we go back into our lives uh, beyond this lockdown, the first thing that you have to know is that we are not going back to our old normal. No, 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 no. We're not going to go back to our old normal. A lot of us are trying to fast track our lives and hoping that we want to go back to our old normal. What you must understand that you and I are going to go back into a new normal. I heard even, uh, you know, uh, companies now, they are going to control people, number of people that are going to be in the meeting room. So you cannot meet um, and exceed the number that has been set up. And so a lot of people are going to start to embrace uh, technology uh, as part of the way of running uh, a lot of businesses. And one of the things that you must also understand, those that are running um, the consulting businesses, it is time now that you have to, um, you know, um, you have to find innovative ways on how you are going to survive. Those that are selling their time, it is time as well now where you have to find innovative ways on how you are going to survive because if you don't do that, chances are you are going to be a victim um, of these realities that we, we are going through. You must understand that it is the nature of crisis that uh, there are casualties and also heroes out of a crisis. And so your responsibility is to prepare yourself that you come out thriving, you come out very strong, and you also come out succeeding. In actual fact, many leaders were made through a crisis. Those who have seen, uh, those who were able to survive the realities of the crisis, they were able to be, um, you know, a case study for the generation to come. So you can do the same with yourself and build up a case study um, for yourself and also your business. And so my responsibility during this lockdown is for me to assist you with skills, um, with knowledge, with abilities that will also help you to cope or also be able to deal um, with the after effects of this uh, uh, COVID-19 and its impact or psychological impact. And so no one will go and argue that um, uh, this thing does not impact us. The reality is that we are all impacted, we are all affected. I want to share with you um, about four types um, of change that Dr. Miles talks about um, in this book. The first one, he says there's a change that happened to us. Um, here, you know, it is unexpected. And so this change, it also impacts our families, it impacts, uh, you know, our careers, it impacts um, our lives. There are people that um, all over the world, they've been retrenched because of the economic meltdown. So this is not what you've asked for, but the reality is that those are the changes that you had to deal and you also had to maneuver. Number two, change that happens around us, change that happens around us. And so COVID-19 was something that we've heard that it started or began in the Asia, in, in Asia, in China in particular. And so um, and many of us, uh, beginning of the year, we were just hearing that there is this pandemic 
um, you know, that it's all over. And we never thought that this thing will also hit into our show. And so this time, we are now dealing with the reality that it's here. It is no longer a reality that it's afar. So this thing was happening around us. It keeps on happening around us. And so this is the change. It was unexpected. It just hit and we never saw it coming. Number three, the change that happened within us. And so during this lockdown, there are people that are also struggling uh, emotionally. There are people that are also struggling uh, physically and, and, and also mentally and spiritually. Some of the people that, um, you know, they knew uh, the possibility for them to be able to engage in prayer and uh, into their spirituality um, um, during, um, you know, when they go to their place of worship and all that. Nowadays, it's no longer happening. So it means chances are you are also impacted. The last one, he also talks about the change that you and I initiate. So you will see that the top three, these are unexpected. These are things that you and I do not have control. But the fourth one, the one where we, 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 we change, we initiate this change. Uh, it means we are now, the other one we don't have control over. The power is resting somewhere. But this one, the power is with us. Don't you think it's going to be great? What if you, you, you can find innovative ways on how you can maneuver um, from this life? How, what if you can just find solution on how you are going to build up your business beyond the lockdown? What if you can find solutions on how you are going to build up your career beyond the lockdown? You are going to position yourself as the expert in your field instead of a jack of all trades. So remember that every crisis provides an opportunity. There are people that are already profiting out of this crisis. So you and I must also make sure that we prepare ourselves for life beyond lockdown. Point number two, Dr. Miles talks about the principles of change. He spoke about the type of change. Now we're talking about the principles of change. The five of those things that he mentioned, he says, nothing on earth is as permanent as change. Indeed, change is here. And change is here to stay. And you and I, it is our responsibility to find ways on how we maneuver around change. He also says change is continual. In actual fact, one of the things that I realize about what change does, it happens in waves. So there's a wave for this, for technology. There's a wave for um, pandemics. Uh, there are, there's a wave for, you know, um, for, for, for in the space of, of, of the economic uh, meltdown. There are various, you know, um, uh, waves that happen. So uh, you must understand that change is also continual. It keeps on happening. This is not our first and this is also not our last. And change, everything changes. Dr. Miles reflect that, of course, our knowledge will also change. The way we're dealing with things now um, is going to surely change. Your interest will change. Of course, um, in the past, I used to like a lot of so kind and all that. But now my interest has changed. I'm now doing a lot of fishing, fishing, uh, fishing, uh, fishing, and also, you know, boating. And it's one of the, my interests that I have developed over the period of time. And he always says your values and priorities will change. The reality is that things are going to change now. Your priorities are also going to change because the way you are doing things in the past is not going to work or it's not going to take you anywhere. You have to start embracing the new normal because the new normal is here. He also says your body will change. Of course it does. I checked a lot of us who were posting the uh, video, in uh, the, the pictures in comparison of 2010 versus where we are now in 2020. You'll realize that a lot of uh, has changed within our body. Some of you, you were big and some of you have now shrink and some of us, we were shrinked at the time and we have now become bulky. It is something that happens as well because everything around where we are, it will surely change. And now, the other thing that he also mentioned, he says, your family relationship will also change. And I'm just hoping that your family will also change for the better. He says your marriage will change. During the course of time, there are people that you remain married and uh, one person made a joke that uh, during this lockdown, if your marriage survives, it means that the, you know this life, there's nothing that will ever break your marriage. So something that to consider that will also help you. Number four, um, the, you know, in these principles of change, is that change is inevitable. So change is inevitable, whether we like it or not, we cannot avoid change. Um, you know, you you you, it is impossible for us to avoid change, whether we like it or not. It is impossible for you and I to avoid change. Very important. And he continued to say, change is a principle of life and creation. In order for our life to be, you know, to give us another life, you know, you must understand that that will, will have to, um, to, 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 to change must start to happen. I mean, a lot of, um, of you got married to a very skinny 
um, ladies, but for them to to give you those beautiful children, they had to lose some some you know some some figures. And today their shapes is almost like a two liter bottle of Coca Cola. Please don't kill me that, but I'm just reflecting on what it is um, real out there. So, Doctor Mal says. With, with all these changes that he has described as the types of changes and the principles of change, he also believes that there are also approaches to this change, that you and I can decide on how we can also approach it. Number one, he says, people, there are people who watch change happen. Now, those people who just watch change happen, they are spectators. Have you ever seen spectators in the soccer game? or in any sport of your choice. They are not part of the game, but they are sitting at all on the outside. And you have realized that the biggest people or the, 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 the biggest player, the expert in the field, uh, becomes the spectator because they see um, everything. So there are those people who watch things happen, they are not part of it, and they are also passive in these things. And we also have people that let things happen. Those people are just going to, um, to let it go, they've resigned. They are just saying, you know what, uh, let's leave everything to God. What else can I, can I do? Uh, you know, so there's nothing more that I can also do. So they've resigned. They've left these things in the hands of God. There's nothing which they can do. Number three, we've got people who ask what happened. Haven't you seen people? I've got this friend of mine who is always very inquisitive. Chances are, um, you know, uh, if he sees an accident, very far from, from him, he will maneuver in order for him to see what had happened there. And I remember the other day he was telling me the story that, uh, you know, he went into and maneuver into this crowd that was watching, a, um, you know, an accident and he asked what happened. And the person that was there was also saying, I do not know. So there are those people who are just inquisitive, ladies and gentlemen. It's important for you to understand that, um, you know, um, yes, of course, you know, inquisitive mind, it's also important. It will assist you. Um, to know and answer this question but most of the time these people they do not take a step further they just stay on what happened and there are those uh, number four who defy what happens so you defy you are on uh, you know you, you are on um, denial you don't believe that this thing is here you don't believe that this thing is happening you don't believe that this thing will ever affect you there was a time where when COVID was announced um, a lot of people were now thinking that this thing is a disease of a particular people or a particular race and so you will realize that uh, at this stage, this thing is affecting the rest of us and the rest of the world. And number five, in terms of the approaches of change, Dr. Miles says there are people who make things happen. It's important for you um, to understand that you are not just going to sit there, uh, you know what, and just become who you are and do nothing. So, so, so you must start to make things happen. You must be the catalyst catalyst of change you must be you must make change happen because when you make change happen you take control you know of, of things you take control of your life you control the direction of your life you control the the direction of your desired outcome so you and i must not be you know these people who keep on watching change who are you know um, disregarding this change who are fighting this change who don't believe this change you know it's happening and all that but you and i must make a choice that we are going to make change. And so it is our commitment that uh, during this uh, broadcast, we're empowering you to champion the direction of your life, to champion your life so that you are able to see your desired results. And I'm hoping that you have learned a lot uh, from this video as we are reviewing this book uh, by Dr. Miles Monroe, um, The Principles and the Benefits of Change. And so if you have learned something from this review, please make sure that you type on the bottom there, and write what you have learned, something that just simple, that one thing that you've learned, it is important. So, and if you believe that uh, this video will benefit someone, please make sure that you, you know, you just share it with someone. Share those um, with your friends. Let them know that there is still life beyond a lockdown. There's life beyond a lockdown. Stay safe in your family. Stay strong. Keep your hope alive and remain where you are until our government announce the new direction and meet you at the top where you belong. I believe that that is where you belong. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you will stay strong where you are.